So basically, here's how it went. So I was just chilling, playing some Minecraft with my friends, right? I, I know I was with Adelina, Cynthia, I think external, I don't know. I was with a couple of my friends, right? Just playing Minecraft, just casually playing some Minecraft, Hypixel Sky Wars, because, you know, we're addicted to that now. So we're just playing, right? And all of a sudden, it starts storming outside. You know, storms. Eee, storms! So it started storming outside, and I really didn't think much of it. I just kind of thought it was a storm and went on with life. I was playing. And then I heard a really big boom next to my house. It was, like, really big. Like, I'm pretty sure it almost struck the house. Right, it was a really big lightning bolt or something. It was really close. I heard, I saw the flash outside my window. So I got, like, really freaked out there. I was like, eh, no! So I was like... I was like, okay, I, I think I think it's about time for me to get off. So I started like, I was about to start closing down everything. I wanted to finish up the one match that I was in because, you know, I mean, I didn't want to. It was a team Sky Wars. I didn't want to just want to be like, okay, thanks, bye. So I, I started to continue and I continued on with the game. And when I continued on with the game, I really didn't think much, much anything would happen. I was like, okay, you know, I just didn't think it would happen. So then I heard another big boom, and as soon as I heard this big boom, my entire house just went dark blackout it was just completely dark I could not see anything everything shut off but that's not the worst thing that happened so as I said I was on my computer and I was talking to my friends so I had my headset on of course that's how I talk to friends on my computer talking to them from my headset so it turns out that the lightning bolt that decided to hit the ground or the power lines or whatever it was decided to go through my headset into my ear so I got struck with a bolt of lightning through my headset through the computer because I did not turn it off. Now, I bet you're like, oh my god, he got struck with lightning. How is he still alive? Well, you see, the thing is, I, it turns out that when it happened, I saw this like flash next to my face because the electricity vaulted like, or not vaulted, it like jolted out of my headset onto me. It like came out of my headset. So I felt it. Don't worry. I, I don't think that I'm like, oh, it was nothing. No, I felt it. It, it hurt. But like, I saw it and I felt it. And as soon as I saw it, I threw my headset off my head. Like, it just went flying off my head. I was like, nope. I threw it off my head. And after this, like, I went on to, like, a really awkward, just crazy mode. And, like, when I went to this crazy mode, I don't know what I was thinking in this. But what I did was I was just like, okay, I need to do something. I started freaking out. I was, I basically just started, I grabbed my phone. Or, no, I, I slammed my hand on the table. And I don't know why, but I did. I slammed my hand on the table. And I grabbed my phone and I just ran. I ran out of my room. Stuff was knocked all over the floor. My headset was on the floor. My, like, there was some bowls, or there was a bowl that I had of ramen noodles that I had just finished eating before it happened. It went, it went on the floor. Just everything went on the floor. And I just grabbed my phone and I ran. Now, I don't know why I grabbed my phone. I, you just do crazy things when you're panicked. And I was very panicked. But I grabbed my phone and I ran. And I ran out into the room next to me, my room. My, uh, we call it the room because it's like legit like the storage room the washing room It's just a bunch of rooms combined. So it's just the room so I, w I ran out into the room right and I just fell over like there was a chair luckily I fell into a chair, but I fell into the chair So I couldn't get up and I started twitching like I was twitching really violently for the first like minute and then like five minutes after that I kept twitching but it was like, it was just a really awkward and bad feeling, and it just wasn't a fun time. Like, it wasn't, it wasn't that good. So, what I did after that is I texted my mother, I was like, yo mom, I mean, I wasn't chill about it like I'm being chill right now, but I was like, yo mom, I got struck by lightning, do something, because I, I was in such a panic mode, I didn't know what to do. I texted her, I posted it on Twitter too, because a couple of people were wondering like, hey, where did we go? Because, as I said, I was talking to my friends, I didn't really get a chance to say, oh, my house got struck by lightning. It just kind of disconnected me from the team speak because my computer turned off. So I posted on Twitter and I got a few like messages and concerns and all that jazz, which I really appreciated. Like <laughs> I couldn't respond to them because obviously I was on the floor talking to my mother, but my mom uh, called me straight away. She was like, yo, what's up? And I told her what happened. I got struck by lightning or I felt like I was struck by lightning, which it was. And once I, once I called her, she called the, or the, um, I was supposed to say the police. Huh? She called the ambulance and the ambulance came, picked me up, which I want to go ahead and explain, being in an ambulance is really creepy, like, I understand, like, it's not that bad, I mean, it's, it's cool, and it, it was, like, cool and all, it was like, hee, 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 but it just really creeped me out, because, like, just imagine it, like, there was, like, a hospital in the back of a car, and the two guys, like, the one, the first guy that came in was, like, I wouldn't say he was creepy necessarily, but he was kind of creepy, like, he was one of those big bulky men, 
So it was kind of just odd to see him in my house, you know, he was like standing over me and he was like, it's the fire and I, or the fire department. And I was like, hey, help me. I'm on the floor. Die. No, but um, he came in and another guy came in and they brought one ambulance with them. But another guy came in and I don't know either of their names, but they both walked in and the one, the big bulky guy, he was, I think he was like the main guy, but... He, um, he saw that I was on the phone with my mom, so he was like, please get off the phone, and I was like, it's my mom, she wants to talk to you, because my mom was like, I want to talk to the officer! That was a pretty good impression of her. But anyways, so I gave the phone to him, and he talked to her for a second, I kind of forgot what they said, but they said something, and once, once that event happened, he was talking to me, he was trying to make sure I was alert and all that jazz, and he managed to stand me up, get me into a stretcher, and we got into the back of the ambulance. So, in the back of the ambulance, what they did was they hooked me up to some heart monitor thing, because, you know, your heart runs off electricity. So when you get struck by lightning, it kind of doesn't do good. So, they, um, they hooked me up to that, they scanned my heart and all, and I had stickers all over the place. I had them, like... I had them on my chest, on my legs, on my arms. Uh, I'm surprised they didn't put them on my face, but, like, they just had everything there. Every, like, or every sticker that you could imagine, like, on your body, they had that for me. <laughs> but after, like, that, they took me to the hospital. They had to split on the sirens because the street that I'm on, I'm not gonna say where I am, obviously, but I'm just gonna call the street the number. So, the number street was, um, had power lines knocked out, so they had to, like, redirect traffic through my neighborhood, so there was, like, a lot of cars, because it's a pretty popular street. So there were a lot of cars backed up in my neighborhood, and they kind of had to drive out of my neighborhood. So we had an issue with that. They managed to put all, or they got the sirens going, and they managed to get everybody to go away. So they got, we got to the hospital, right? And they pulled me out of the, the ambulance. They, uh, we got into the hospital, and we had to sit in the like waiting room thing for a while because they could tell it wasn't that urgent for or that was that it wasn't like that uh, for me it was like not that urgent it was i mean it was still bad but like it wasn't urgent urgent they they had to wait for a room and all but it was okay so they got me into a room and they did some like the usual doctor things they checked my like they put the um the, the, the what's it called the um the thing that goes in your arm and like it puffs up they put that on me and they you know they did the usual doctor stuff they'll go in they'll check your temperature and they just did like they asked me some questions they're asking me like what's your name and all that jazz and so my mom came in to the hospital when we were about to go into the room it was like five minutes before we went into a room and she came in she was all panicked and all because you know her son just got struck by lightning you'd be in a panic state too so she came in and she was like oh my god so we got into the room and so we were just sitting there right and then all of a sudden one of my friends um chris his dad just walks through and he was like, are you okay? And I was like, whoa, this is unexpected. And he, um, he is a detective, so he can see, like, what happens and all. And he saw that on the monitor there was a address that was my address, or in my neighborhood. And he was like, wait a second, isn't that David's neighborhood? So he looked in, he saw that it was my house. And he was like, wait a second, what? He saw that I had gotten electric, or it said, I think it said electrocution or something like that, or struck by like, I, I can't remember what it said. But he was like, okay, I'm checking on him because, you know, he's cool. So he came into the hospital room and he was like, are you okay? Because... He had already called his wife and Chris, my friend, and he was like, yeah, <laughs> but he came in and soon after he came in, the doctors came in and was like, everything is okay. He's, there was no burns or anything. They checked for burns and, and everything was fine. So apart from the fact, you know, I was, I was still a little bit dazed. I mean, obviously I just got electrocuted. I mean, it was pretty scary time, but yeah, it was a pretty scary time. It honestly like it's probably one of the scariest moments of my life it was but so we got back to the car and we got back home and I started relaxing and I was like okay mom what about the computer because you know usually when your computer or something like this happens your computer would get fried you wouldn't have a computer anymore because it would be fried it would be destroyed because it got electrocuted right so my mom booted it up and it was like Windows Air Recovery, like it always does when stuff like that happens. It'll be like, yo, Windows Recovery will be like, yo. She got everything settled, and she looked at my computer, and everything was fine. Everything was fine. There was nothing wrong with the computer at all. Nothing is bad. Nothing is bleh. It was perfect. It was great. Com it was still in perfect condition. It did not have anything bad wrong with it, which is really, really rare for stuff like this to happen. I was extremely lucky that not only did I not lose my life, that I still had my computer. So I got on my computer and all, and I was tweeting at everybody. I was like, I'm okay, I'm not dead, it's, it's all right. Nothing bad's happening, <laughs> except for everything that just happened. But it was a pretty scary point in my life. Like, I just got zapped by lightning. 
It's it's not a fun time at all to be zapped by lightning. It was it's honestly one of the scariest moments of my life, and I hope I never have to experience it again. But that that's that's my story. I got struck by lightning, and I just wanted to share it with you guys. So I hope you guys did enjoy.